Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to read you a story called Mr. Simon's Special Christmas. Okay, I'm going to read you the story Mr. Simon's Special Christmas. Okay, let's read it. It was Christmas Eve. Mr. Simon stood in the pigeon house at the top of the highest tower in his castle. He looked out over the valley and watched people setting off through the storm. Like every year, the people who lived nearby were going to visit their families for Christmas. Mr. Simon tried to guess what was in their baskets. He imagined the wonderful dishes they had prepared for Christmas. Mr. Simon loved good food, but sadly, he didn't know how to cook. So that evening, he was planning he was planning to open a tin of peas with ham, just like every evening. The storm was getting worse, and it was beginning to snow. And went down to check the fire in the big kitchen. Suddenly, knock, knock, knock. Someone was banging on the door. Mr. Simon was surprised. He wasn't expecting any visitors, but he went to open the door. An icy wind came rushing into the castle. Snow blew in Mr. Simon's face. He could just make out four shivering, four shivering figures, four shivering. Figures, he said. Goodness me! Come in, quick, quick! Then he shut the door in a hurry. Two children and their parents stood in the hallway in their coats and scarves. The father said. The father explained. We can't carry on this storm. Could we stay the night with you? Goodness me! Said Mr. Simon. My old castle is cold and dusty, and I don't have any beds. The father said. Please, our Oh, please, it's so cold outside, and our children, Anthony and Anna, are exhausted. So Mr. Simon agreed to let them stay. Suddenly, there was another knock at the door. It was Mr. Lewis and her dog, Angus, and they were still looking for a place for a shelter, to shelter. Mr. Simon had just closed the door again when there was another knock. It was Tim and Lewis. And then the big fair family arrived, followed by Mr. and Mrs. Story and their two daughters. What a lot of people! At that night, everybody would have to stay at Mr. Simon's castle. Everyone gathered in the big castle kitchen. The guests took off their wet, co wet coats and shoes and socks and sat by the fire to get them warm. <clears throat> Mr. Simon said, I'm sorry, my castle is very big, but because if I live only, I live alone, I only hit the kitchen. Goodness me, I have nothing to offer you for dinner. I've only got ham and peas. Little Anthony said, Peas? I love peas. Everyone laughed. Little Anthony took a big golden cake out of his mother's basket, and this can be our dessert. Then all the guests opened their baskets. Mr. Lewis took out a chocolate mo chocolate mousse, and Mr. Tim had a ham. The fair family had vegetables, and Lewis had some delicious creamy desserts. Mr. Simon couldn't believe his eyes. Uh, and Mr. Story had five tasty cheeses. Everybody sat around the big table. Mr. Simon was very happy. He had never had such a good meal. And, but suddenly, he wanted this dinner to last all night long. And so, but suddenly, Little Anthony looked very sad. He whispered in Mr. Simon's ear, How will Father Christmas find us here? Goodness me, that's a good question, said Mr. Simon. He scratched his chin and thought about it. Mm. He scratched his chin and then said, I think I have an idea. Mr. Simon took Little Anthony's hand. Together they walked through some dark and empty rooms until they got to the main staircase. They climbed up to the highest tower in the castle as far as, far as Pigeon House. Mr. Simon took a piece of paper and a pencil out of his dressing gown pocket to the leg of beautiful gray-blue pigeon. Freddy is the most amazing carrier pigeon. He will make sure Father Christmas finds you all. He kissed the pigeon and let him fly into the storm. 
When it was bedtime, Mr. Simon got lots of cushions and blankets. Everyone settled down on the floor, around the fireplace. Before going to sleep, little Anthony whispered, Can we come back and celebrate Christmas with you last next year? Mr. Simon smiled and said, Goodness me, yeah, it will be my pleasure. Soon, all the guests were asleep. Mr. Simon stayed awake that night. He was enjoying having his home full of people, and he wanted to make sure that Father Christmas didn't forget anyone. The End Okay, so today, I read a story called Mr. Simon's Special Christmas. Yeah, it was a very special Christmas. So many people came to Mr. Simon's house and had a good night eating some very delicious foods and had a night had a good night sleep. Okay, yes, yeah, so today is Friday and in this it's today is December twenty second and the Christmas is coming. And I hope Father Christmas didn't. Uh, Father Christmas? Okay, so have a good weekend and have a good Christmas with your loved ones. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching.